Hello all. I got a special request from Chuck about uh, getting a little more detailed on the single aspect four-way uh, lights that hung over the intersections. They were real common in America. Um, usually it had either red on red light on four sides or two reds and two caution yellow amber lenses. And basically just flashed on and off, on and off, and alerted drivers to the intersection potential hazard and uh, or to stop. So let's uh, look a little closer at this light. Okay, this light is a Krauss Heinz. It is uh, from the 50s, later 50s. This is the era that uh, Chuck was interested in. Uh, as you can see, I uh, had four lights. I can't get around to the back side too well, but this one has four reds. And uh, it has a hanger at the top. Uh, I will show in a little bit the uh, balance adjuster that connects with this so that you can uh, adjust the direction, the uh, orientation of the light over the intersection. As was typical, there were two poles that would be up over the uh, on uh, opposite corners. And then this light would hang, span across those, uh, between those two poles. Uh, you would have this hanger and then the balance adjuster, which I will show, uh, bolts to this. And then it would have a span wire guide at the top that the wire goes through. Uh, inside the light, which was typical of the time, you had the uh, door that would open. You have the lens and the... Uh, rubber gasket around the lens. Uh, this would create a seal. Um, actually, there's two kinds of seal. This would create a seal against the reflector edge. And then you have the door gasket itself around the outer side that would seal against the edges of the light. Um, it was pretty good at the time. Uh, usually it was uh, pretty reliable. Over years though, 30, 40, 50 years, eventually these Seals would wear and rot a bit, and uh, you'd get moisture in the light. Um, you have the reflector here. We've got a lamp uh, in the middle. Of the, there, normally there would be a traffic lamp, a 67 watt or 69 watt traffic lamp. This particular uh, lamp is a 40 watt appliance bulb. I've been lowering the wattages on the, the lights around the room here, so our electric bill doesn't go sky high. Uh, and it's dimmer too, so it's more pleasant to look at in, indoors. Um, the reflector basically would pop off here, and on the back side you would have your wiring. So you have the socket with the wires, and then the wires would all lead to, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but there would be a terminal block in here. And uh, it would either be a screw terminal, or the later ones had spade, uh, that the spade lugs would connect to. So, um, depending on how the circuit's wired up, you would, uh, have either all four lights light up at the same time or in later years they divide the circuit up into uh, uh, two sets so that the opposite sides would flash um, sequentially uh, uh, back and forth wigwag style. So that's pretty much the uh, light itself. This is the 8 inch lens version. Um, in later years they, they would uh, instead of having this all in one fixed You'd have an adjustable four-way, which would be four individual lights mounted on a pipe arrangement. There we go. And uh, then they could be adjusted. Each lamp could be adjusted. So if you had a skewed intersection on such, you could um, adjust each head separately. Again, they would have all the pipes together and have this uh, hanger connected to a balance adjuster on the span wire. This light also is unique at Krauss Heinz the later years uh, they would put number a number on the uh, main directions not sure why they would do that you have a one and you'd have a three over here uh, they never labeled two and four so that was kind of an interesting thing uh, you got the name Syracuse New York on here and uh, so yeah so that's kind of the the basics of the light. Now I'll show you the balance adjuster. The balance adjuster is this little piece here. Uh, this little piece then would attach between the uh, exiting wire fitting here and the uh, span wire uh, saddle clamp. 
This is basically where the wire would come through. You, these bolts would tighten onto the wire. And then you'd have this cutter pin uh, situation where the bolt comes through. And you either could either have it direct to the light and mounting itself. So the light could be pre-oriented uh, and then tightened here. And so this would you know, sit maybe diagonally between the, uh, the corners. Or if you want to be a little more meticulous about it, you put this piece in between these two. And you would have an eyelet here that could be twisted to the orientation you would like. So it gives you a little more of a, an adjustment. So Anyway, that's uh, the basics of it. Chuck, if you have any other questions, uh, let me know. Otherwise, um, uh, please uh, like and subscribe. I'm, uh, if you like this kind of stuff, I can uh, um, you know, narrate more on other lights.